गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग सर या हाय गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग सर या जस्ट गिव मी टू मिनट्स
Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Yeah, cool. Good evening, everyone. Uh, so let's start uh, today's class. Uh, so we will be starting with new chapter. Uh, uh, what is that? Comparing quantities. Okay. So let me share my screen first. Sir, can you show the directed papers? Uh, who's there? Say. Uh, Sir. So actually, I got only five or six responses on my. What's your name? Who's speaking them? Sir Cherantej. Cherantej, did you send on WhatsApp? Yes, sir. I sent it. Nine seven three double one. Is it your number? Yes, sir. You didn't mention your name, so okay, fine. Uh, you did everything right, but one thing you didn't do well is uh, that seventh question. Seventh question, go down question. Uh, you mentioned it as ninety thousand, whereas it's nine hundred boxes. So that's the mistake you did. And one more. Uh... Sir, yesterday you told it is 90,000 only. 90,000 only? Okay. So where did you uh, actually sent it on a. Uh, you sent it as images. So images are not as per the question form, as per the questions. Okay, uh, okay, anyways, I will let you know by the end of the class. Okay, okay, let's start the class. Comparing quantities. So what exactly meant by comparing quantities? What what in general you meant by comparing quantities? So we're comparing two different quantities. Or two different Okay. So in this chapter, basically, we compare the things using, uh, so we compare the things, uh, like usually we'll compare the things use, uh, using fractions, ratios, and percentages, okay? And also, we'll find out the uh, so ba basically, we find we find out here the quantity. So quantity, suppose if a quantity the, which we have is exactly what does it mean? So here we do compare with selling price, cost price, and also profit or loss. 
so this is one one other comparison i am just giving you just view uh, gist of all the chapter uh, so then we will compare with discounts okay then we compare with sales tax okay then we compare with simple interest and compound interest then we can then we also compare with calculating compounding of compound interest so value added tax yeah in that in sale under sale tax only it will come what's the difference between sale tax and value added tax i hope chapter just we begin i think we will discuss in detail as soon as uh, we reach we finish the like we are about to clear the concepts about each and every topic so please bear with me so i am giving you just gist of this so these all things we will be discussing in this chapter so comparing quantities uh, basically uh, uh, so basically when you go in market so when you go in market you tend to compare any two quantities suppose if you are want to purchase a mobile on any of the website online e-commerce website suppose if i want to purchase if i want to purchase some google pixel phone or anything any kind of some random android phone name it some x company so that x company actually its price is selling price is a cost of rupees 40000 on amazon and same samsung mobile cost is rupees 38000 on flipkart so usually you will compare the selling price there and you will purchase where you, where is much affordable and where you can easily get better and good price so this is called comparing so each and everywhere you compare quantities here suppose if i give you certain amount of suppose a handful of uh, uh, chocolates okay I, another person i give him another handful of chocolates so if his hand is uh, if his palm size is so less and your palm size is so so mo like more than his his palm size so there obviously more amount of chocolates will be stored in your hand and in other hand less amount of chocolates will be stored right so there you there how you will calculate the percent there you will calculate the methods like percentage how much percentage of chocolates you have and how much percentage of chocolates he has okay so in daily life in our daily life we will compare the things compare the quantities so this is a usual practice so uh, best example if i want to give you <laughs> uh, typical parents of south indian how they will be is like compare your marks with neighbors marks or your friends marks or class topper marks so there is also an again a comparison so this usually be so comparing quantity means this is the thing and let's get in much detail about comparing quantities here so let us go with one example so first of all please make a note of this what is comparison what is comparison make a note of it it is 
sometimes necessary and also nice to know if one number is the same as or smaller than other number smaller than or bigger than another number so basically we will use some signs to compare okay suppose if i give you two numbers that is 2 and 9 which sign you will use here so you know this greater right? than less than or equal to uh, equal to or greater than or equal to less than or equal to you know these signs you or not equal to you know these signs yes sir yes sir so here, if I say here 2 is less than 9, right? So which, so I use 2 is less than 9. Similarly, two great, if 9 is greater than 2, I can also use in this way, no? So here I am comparing two quantities, right? Yes or not? Are you getting my point? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Similarly, when one value is smaller than other, we will use a less than symbol. And when one value is greater than other, we will use a greater symbol, greater than symbol. So, when we compare the quantities, Sir, can you go a little up? So when we compare quantities, we use concepts like one, that is as I already told you ratio and proportion fraction percentage and out of this percentage there are concepts also like simple interest compound interest and taxes and last one is what profit and loss so these are the concepts basically we use to compare the things and there are some other concepts also we will discuss in the class.
So basically, when we compare, sir, can you scroll up a little some more? Sir. Yes, sir. Answer. So let me just take screenshots, sir. Can you show the different topics? Anyways, I will be sharing you the PDF. Don't worry. But in general, if you want to copy, you can. So done, sir. Thank you. Okay. So if you see here, when we compare the two quantities, the units must be same. So why I'm saying unit must be same here means Suppose if you are comparing, uh, suppose if this is very, very important point, I can only compare two quantities when the units must be same. Like I can, I can tell five liters of water packet and five liters of milk. I can tell that why, because the, both are in liquid state and those are in same quantities. Quantities matlab, the measuring quantity is same here. So liquid, liquid measuring quantity will be, obviously will be in liters and similarly, one more thing I can say you here is I can compare marks of two students. I can compare runs of two uh, batsmen in a cricket player. So here what should be is the count, the quantity should be same. Okay. Yes, yes any doubt? No. So let's first start with so this is the very, very basic, uh, important point. Before you are going for any comparison, the quantities must be same. The quantities must be same. So note this point again. What yeah. is the ratio here? So let us go with first topic that is ratio. So let us go with first topic that is ratio here. So ratio is nothing but a relation between two quantities of same unit expressed as a to b or a is to b you are much aware of this ratio in your primary classes that is sixth or seventh so relation between so relationship between two quantities two quantities which are same which are same is expressed as is expressed as suppose two quantities are a and b then i can express this relation between these two uh, quantities as a is to b or a is to b but in general we read it out as a is to b with colon symbol okay colon symbol so here you uh, it quantity can be anything are you as you are aware of but the quantity measuring should be same quantity can be anything okay it can be water it can be anything but if you want to compare one quantity with other quantity the other quantity should be also the same thing so let us go with one example so that you get a better ex uh, ex uh, understanding of this for example mohan has 15 pens and our friend uh, Venkat Rudra has one more 30 pens. What is the ratio between Mohan and what is the ratio of Sir, one is to two. 
Yes. What is the ratio of pens between Mohan and Rudra? So 15 to 30 means 1 is to 2. So 15 to 30. So I can write it as 15 is to 30 is 15 ones, 15 twos. So I can also write it as 1 is to 2. Or I can also write it as 1 by 2. Better when you are maintaining ratio, please write it as 1 is to 2. Yes, Rudra, what's your doubt? You didn't have 30 pens or what? No, sir. Sir, ratio can it be in variables? Sorry? Sir, can ratio also be in variables like x is to y? Yeah, ratio can be in variables, but we use variables to, deny, uh, to define the quantity, right? Yes, sir. So if you see here, if I if I if I change here pens to pencils, can I compare now? No, sir. Can I compare students? Can I compare this? No, right? Why? Because we are not comparing the same quantity. The quantity or unit which you are comparing here is not same. Here it is pencil and here it is pen. If I want to compare to this. This pen should be also pencils. Then only I can compare. The quantity or unit which we are comparing must be same. Which we are comparing must be same. Any confusion in this? No, sir. Okay. Then one more problem on this. Same problem. Manu has 15 books and 29 notes. Okay, Charan has Charan has 15 okay. Let me frame question another way. So, now what is the ratio of pens to pencil here? Sorry, books to notes here? 15 to 29. 15 is to 29. 15 is to 29. Okay. And what is the ratio? Sir, notes. what is written after 29 in the first sentence? Notes. And the ratio of notes to books is what? 29 is to 15, sir. 29 is to 15. Okay. Sir? So, in this way, we can write it out. So, to, just to define you this, I just wrote. So, you can change the quantity. Manu has 15 books and 29 notes. Here, comparing quantities. So here, if you see here, objects are different, but we are comparing here. One is books and another is notes. But before that, what we are mentioning here, books to notes and notes to books. Then this will be a collective quantity. Then this will be a collective quantity. Okay, collective quantity. Then I will put another thing saying that Charan has books to notes ratio of 30 is to 40. Then I can compare this collective quantity. What is the collective quantity here? Books to notes. Books to notes or notes to book. If I mention here notes to book, that would be 40 to 30 is to 30 if I say. Then we can compare these two quantities. Yes, uh, Pranava, what's your doubt? Why, why is the ratio between books and notes and notes and books are different, sir? Different, matlab, the part, the part we are considering here. So when you are comparing, you can't compare books to notes and notes to book. You will get different answer. So if you compare here, 15 by 29 is notes, books to notes and 29 by 15 is books to notes. Check the division. What exactly ratio is the part of it, right? Check the division. 
is the division same 15 by 29 and 29 by 15? This is not equal, right? So that's the reason why we do it. So next simple problem I'm giving you. 2a is equal to 3b and 4b is equal to 5c. Then a is to c is what? A is to C is what? A is to C is what? So I hope you people know this. A by B is can be written as 3 by 2. Similarly, B by C can be written as 5 by 4. Then what I am doing here, I need to find out the ratio between A and C. A and C. So how can I write A, A, A is to C is nothing but A by C. If I multiply and divide. Basically you multiply A by B into B by C. Yes. If I multiply and divide B. Then what it would be. B A into B by B into C. Multiplying and dividing. B here. If I cancel again B B. It will be again ultimately equal to A, A by C. So I am multiplying B in numerator and multiplying C in the denominator or you can say it as multiply and divide B. So here A by B is how much? 3 by 2. two. 3 by C is how much? 5 by 4. Five by so ultimately the answer will be 15 by 8. Sir, you actually mm -hmm. told 4 B and 5 C, sir. So it will be 4 by 5 now, sir. Just a minute. Yes, please. Sir, in the question, sir, you told 2a is equal to 3b and uh, 4b is equal to 5c, sir. You wrote 5, uh, b is equal to 5 by 4. It should be 4 by 5, sir. So here, if you see, 4b is equal to 5c, right? So b by c is equal to 5 by 4. Do a cross multiplication. 4b is equal to 5c. Uh, didn't I mention correct here? Yes. Okay. No worries. Thank you, sir. I understood, sir. Okay, fine. So this is the thing. And next class, uh, uh, we will. So I have some work I have to leave. So okay. so can you repeat why you have written it as a uh, reverse? Which one? Which one you are talking like about? A by C, you wrote it as uh, 3 by 2, right? Is equal to 3 by 2, right? So. A by C, not A by B, I wrote it as Sorry. 3 by 2. A by, a by B no. only. So here, the relation is given as 2A is equal to 3B. Similarly, another relation is given as 4B is equal to 5C. So the relation is given as here. 2A is equal to 3B, 4B is equal to 5C. So the relation between two quantities is given here. Another two quantities is given here. So here if I do this, 2 into A and 3 into B. If I move this 2 towards this side, that is from left hand side to right hand side, it will become A is equal to 3 into B by 2. Similarly, if I move this B from right hand side to left hand side, obviously it is multiplying here. It will be another side that is on left side. It will be multiply inverse that is A by B. That will be equal to 3 by 2. Any confusion here? If you have further confusion, multi go for a cross multiplication. Again, the relation should be the same. That is 2A is equal to 3B. See, the relation is same. Uh, Understood, so, sir. Any confusion here? No, sir. Clear. Okay, fine. So, let's discuss some more about uh, percentage. What is percentage? A fraction can be expressed can be expressed as a percentage percentage of 
percentage by multiplying it by 100. Okay. Suppose if I want to tell you that 3 by 2 is one fraction. If I want to convert this fraction into percentage, what I simply do? 3 by 2 into 100. So you anyways knows that 2 ones, 2 fifties. 50 into 3 is nothing but how much? So it is? 150 percent. 150 percentage. Okay. Similarly, if I write it as 3 by 4 into 100, so 3 by 4 is here fraction. So that would be 75 percentage. Similarly, if I write as 4 by 8 into 100, so 4 ones, 4 twos, 2 ones, 2 fifties. So this is 50 percentage. So usually you convert a fraction to percentage by multiplying it with 100. Any confusion in this? No, sir. No, sir. Okay, great. Okay. So next, a change is a quantity. A change. A change. So basically, we will uh, we will find out the percentage of change. So what exactly meant by percentage of change? I am defining it here. A change is a quantity from A to B is a change of 100 into A minus B by, sorry, B minus A here, B minus A by A. So from A to B, I am finding out what is the change of percentage. So here you might confused, sir, what exactly it means. So in some way, sometimes in question, they will be asking how much percentage area has been increased or how much percentage uh, volume has been increased or how much percentage a person's marks has increased. So when you are comparing with how much, when you are comparing with first quantity, so here from, from old uh, markable uh, quantity, that is A, from to B, Suppose it is A to B, then the change in quantity will be, first you subtract B minus A, you will be, you will be changing the, you will be finding out the difference between these two quantities. Then as you are comparing with first quantity, you have to mention in denominator as A. And to find out the change in percentage, it would be 100. Suppose if I tell you, if your marks, suppose if Pranav's marks increased from 50 to 75. So what is the percentage of marks increased? So this is last class marks, uh, last test marks. Here, present test marks. So, last, so how you will compare? First of all, you will go with 75 minus 50. So what is the uh, marks increased here? 75 minus 50. 25. 25. 25. So which marks you are comparing here? With the previous marks, right? Yes, with sir. The so the previous marks. marks. So minus, sorry, in denominator previous marks. So 25 by 50 into 100. Okay. 50. So 25 ones, 25 twos. So 50% of 50%. 50 percent of marks from previous test to the present test in present test, Pranava's marks got increased. Pranava's marks got increased. Okay. So that's how you find out the change in percentage of a marks. Suppose if you oh. want, want to find out the reduced percentage, sometimes you get percentage which is reduced. Suppose if I tell you 75 marks in the last exam and 50 marks in the present exam. Then you do A minus B. So here, what you do? What exactly you do? The percentage, the percentage. So you know here, percent. You know here, change is positive. Change is positive or not here? He got good marks or not? Comparing to the previous marks. So 
So change is positive or not? Marks increased or not? Here marks decreased. So how we will find decrease in percentage? Decrease in percentage, how we will find? You will find it as 50 minus, sorry. Seventy five minus fifty by fifty into hundred. Why? Because why you are comparing here with very less marks? Why? Because you know the marks has reduced. You need to find out the percentage of reduction in marks. Percentage of reduction in marks. So twenty five by hundred fifty into hundred. So that would be one by two into hundred. So that would be percentage of reduction will be. 50%. Or else you can, so if you find this will be difficult in doing this and understanding this. Similar process you can go with. What is the similar process here? 75 is the initial mark. 50 is the present mark. Okay. So you know 75 minus, uh, so you, as anyways you are comparing 50 minus 75. With which quantity you are comparing here? You are comparing with previous quantity. As I said you, you have to take previous quantity or not. So seven. Uh, so here you will be taking seventy five. So twenty five by seventy five into hundred. So that would be equal to twenty five ones, twenty five threes. Okay. So that would be equal to thirty three. So this will be minus twenty five. So minus thirty three one by three. So you can write hundred by three as thirty three one by three percentage. So you can also mention this as minus thirty three one by three percentage. You got it. So reduced percentage here is minus 33, 1 by 3 percentage. Any confusion? Sir, percentage can also be written in uh, negatives. In yes, negatives. Percentage can. So negative symbol indicates how much it is, it is a decreasing one. In profit and loss also, if you consider there, you will be having negative percentage. Negative percentage indicates that you lost. You purchase, suppose the suppose if you purchase a product for 100 rupees, but it actual price is 50 rupees, if the reduction product, uh, uh, the loss percentage will be why? Because 50 rupees you lost now, you go, you, if you have got to another market, you will get it for 50 rupees. So minus sign indicates that reduce or loss. So comparing quantity, minus sign indicates that loss or damage or reduction negative reduction okay yes if someone has any doubt uh, we will discuss some more concepts tomorrow on this we will continue class tomorrow that yes, is on sir. Friday class okay bye sir. sir thank you sir bye sir thank you sir okay, okay sir bye sir bye sir